we have Leo here. We have 8-Bit Man, Zeke, Samsora making a, an appearance, you know, how to convince him just a little bit to come. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, chatting it up with him. Making sure he comes out to more locals. He did say that was his New Year's resolution. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. He uh, he went to Versus. He got first at Versus yep. uh, on Thursday. Yep. And got the run back yeah. in Losers. Didn't go to Gatorland, but now he's here. Right. I think Gatorland is a bit of a drive for some people. No, for though. sure. It definitely was. That's the reason I didn't go. But yeah, we got the Peach coming out. Peach. Uh, might get to study these VODs later. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Uh, Lamp as Joker. Or Lamp. All right, so I'm not too familiar with Lamp. I've definitely heard oh his really? name around. He's further south. Right. So you see him at, like, ECG, AO, Tates. ECG. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine. Um, but, yeah, uh, shout-outs to Lamp for coming out to Vero. Yeah, no, it's uh, – Lamp is a pretty solid player. His joke. There's a lot of jokers in South Florida. Yeah, no, there's a lot of everything in South Florida, in my opinion. <laughs> um, but it's yeah. pretty wild. Mude starting off really, really strong right here with the combos coming in through. All right, with the ledge trap, goes for Rising Bear. Yeah. I'll be at missing cut there. Ooh, the turn up actually clanking with the egg on. All right, he's going to stay in shield. Is that? Oh, that no, unfortunately, Miss Space is the peach up smash. High. Yeah, Peach is one of those characters that you have to have a specific percent on them for that yes. combo to work just because she's so floaty. Yeah, floaties, they kind of get the benefit of not having a high combo window right. percentage, mm -hmm. but... It also makes it harder for them to land. Exactly, yeah. Floaties definitely have a hard time landing in this game. Yeah. Um, that's something. Ooh, nice. with the winky face taking out the stock. That turn being a little stronger than the regular ones. It's crazy how strong Peach's turnips are. Yeah, I have a whole spreadsheet of how much percent each one does and what knockback and how they work. What yeah. are the probabilities of them? Yeah, it's really good information to know if you're going to be fighting Peach because it is an essential part of her gameplay. So knowing, yeah. what knowing exactly which mm -hmm. turnip she has out, it can change just how right. defensive you need to be because mm -hmm. uh, you don't want to get hit by that stitch face. Exactly. And I find a lot of players um, often miss what turnip she has in hand because they're not really focusing on her or, or what she's doing. You know. That's oh, yeah. And that comes with just reacting more to your opponent mm -hmm. and watching them more closely than yourself. Yeah. No, I try to watch Peach pretty closely, especially when she goes to pull turnip. I need right. to make sure I know which, which one she has in hand. But right now, Mute's making these turnips work out for him very well. Mm -hmm. Nice grab at the ledge. Mutis with a pretty solid lead sitting at 147, though. That Arson did, like, nothing. Wow, the back air not going to take it. Yeah, Peach can float as long as she's comfortable with uh, 2.5 seconds being the max. So she can stand out there for a pretty long time and just avoid yeah. a lot of ledge traps. And right now, still sitting there. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, there's not much Joker can do when Peach is just floating there, just yeah. waiting. Well, Mutis trying to... We got a little cheeky percent there. All right, going to go for the grab. Yeah, overall, Mute's not committing very hard. He knows that he doesn't have to. Right. Uh, Joker's in the... What? 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 <laughs> he lost that trade? He lost that trade, and it looked like he got hit, like, way after yeah. Mute did. That was weird. It must have been, like, the, mm -hmm. the hit lag differences between the characters. Yeah, and I like what Mute was doing there uh, in those close quarter situations, kind of like faking out the float with the most grounded level float you could possibly have and just baiting out. Any Mute kind of defensive option. Mute has not lost his stock yet. That's wild. <laughs> Sitting at 181. Peach at 181 is incredible. Like uh, You rarely see Peaches last this long, in my opinion. Yeah. But, man, Lamp just okay, finally takes his stock with the R7 backer at 187. Now just waiting out the... Uh, yeah, and that's what you have to do versus R7 is the most optimal way to play this matchup. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Because you don't need to sit there and... Right. All right, Lamp going a little out there, oh. and he takes the stock. One. That was interesting. If he gains our send one more time, he could possibly bring this back. Yeah, I could see it. But at the same time, he's at the ledge, too. Right. So. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It didn't have a jump there. Yeah. See, and that's another thing that Peach has over Joker when he's our sendless. It's those turnips, dude. You can throw probably two um, in the air and still manage to have one in your hand. Yes. You know, um, po like, take uh, possibly. Uh, you could possibly have as many turnips as you want in the air. Like, it's not like Diddy, uh, Diddy Banana, where you can only have one at a time, or yeah, yeah. or like Snake Grenade, you can only have two at a time. Literally, you can have potentially as many as you want. Like, let's say you go to like Forest Side or something, and you throw it up in the air, it's gonna last for a while. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's a lot. Sometimes there's limits to certain moves. Mm -hmm. For instance, like I can use Bowling Ball a thousand times. There's right. no limit to it as yeah. well. 
But uh, other moves, like you have to only use it once, so you can only have mm -hmm. certain ones out at a time. Right. Having that constant active hitbox mm -hmm. high and then also coming down low right. when, when Joker wants mm -hmm. to try to recover low right. makes it very difficult. For and me. another thing that you can change up with turnips is the speed at which you throw them. So, like, it's really, really, really good for catching different kinds of, uh, k uh, kinds of angles that people are trying to recover at. So Yeah. Right now, Mutes just he, he likes to try to chill in neutral a lot of the time, mm -hmm. wait for his openings. But Lamp, you can tell, is just kind of rushing him down, trying not to give him that. And then Mute still finds that opening. Wow, what and that is 72% from like one combo. What an extension from Mute. It looked yeah. like that there wasn't going to combo into the grab, mm -hmm. but he managed to get it, which is really, really good. Yeah. All right. Goes for the B reverse down gun. Uh, B, uh, B reverse gun. Let's put us down through Nair. Reverse hit. Off stage. Has the turn up there. Ooh. And the Nair to cover. He caught him on the startup, which is... Oh, wow. That was so much coverage from Ute there. There was really nothing he could do at that point. He could have possibly air dodged, in my opinion. He went straight for the up B right by the ledge and managed to get hit by the Nair, so... Yeah. Oh, I meant after that situation. Oh, right, then right, there was right. just nothing yeah. left. But uh, right now... Overall, Mute is going to just try to extend this lead as much as he can. Um, Mute gets real defensive when he's a, a stock ahead. He knows where he can get like his percent, but overall he's going to be... Oh my gosh. Yeah. He's just going to be staying back a lot of the time. You can tell that Mute is just call calling out his buttons right now. Like yeah. Just straight up. Yeah, see how he's just kind of staying right out of that range of right. the, the burst options? Dash attack range, things like that. Oh, he definitely did not want to do that third jab. All right, going to fair the dare there. What's the ledge trap? He's going to go for the turnip. Ooh, unfortunately catches the normal getup right there. And yeah. Kills him with back air. It can be tricky stuff when you're at the ledge against Peach. Right. She Her ledge trapping is just yeah, so she amazing. She has the speed and technicality to just react to almost everything. So right now, I want to do see, I want to see some, um, Dash attacks from right. Lamp. I think that's one thing he hasn't mixed into his kit. Right. And I think that would overall help him in some of these situations. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he's going for these counters kind of a little preemptively. Mm -hmm. He's just trying to react just a little bit more. Yeah. He's just having a hard time because I think he, he's being thrown off by a lot of uh, Mute's, uh, Mute's movement mm -hmm. and his timing changes. Right. Yeah, Mute's doing a really good job mixing it up, but Lamp takes the first stock. There with the back air. Yeah, it doesn't seem too out of possibility for him to bring this back, but Mute just uh, riding a lot of momentum right now. So yeah. It's probably going to be really hard for him to catch up. Ooh, yeah, yeah I oh called. I knew he was going to do that. He needs to get something started, but I don't think he's going to get that chance. Yeah, Mute loves doing that Z, uh, that Z drop into a follow up. Catches people off guard when they're dropping shield. <laughs> Lamp approaching with a lot of dares. Yeah. He's definitely looking to get something started. Right. And he's trying real hard because he knows he doesn't have a whole lot of arson left either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wants to take this dog as fast as possible. He's going to have yeah. to take it. And arson is gone. Okay, so this becomes way harder for uh, Lamp here. See, and now Mute knows that he does not have to overcommit with anything. He's just going to try and sit there and punish whatever Lamp tries to throw out to bring this back. Yeah. Getting a little Ooh. anxious now. Yeah. So turn out. Kind of catches a roll, but doesn't commit to an. Trying to read there. the jump out. This is getting tilt. Overall, Lamp's trying to bring this back as best he can. Right. If he can bring, if he can take this stock, and then get Arson, then I think that would be the best thing for him. Yeah, but Lamp's doing a really good job of keeping you at the corner there, but a little a little over extension there with the forward smash gets hit with the forward tilt. Yeah, and he's not jumping when Mute wants him to right. either, so that's also helpful. It shows that he has some patience there. Mm -hmm. Yep, there All we right, go. All right, nice. But he's, he's at 148. <coughs> he just is outside of Arsene per, uh, range, like mm -hmm. percent. But and the thing is, is that he just needs to get tapped by one fair and he's dead. A few more percent and... <laughs> <laughs> He's not even trying to be nonsense. fancy with anything. He yeah. just wants to go. Oh, my oh God. My if gosh. he had gotten hit with that, yeah, he was yeah. dead. Oh, and he's dead anyways. Unfortunate DI there. Yeah. Probably thought it was going to send the other way. It was holding out. Yeah, exactly. So right. But Yude is going to take it over Lamp 2-0 in a convincing fashion. Yeah, that was really good neutral from both players. You could tell Lamp was really trying there. Mm -hmm. 
his patience on game two at the end, right. when he was down by a whole stock and was able to bring it back to last stock at least, that showed that you know he was really sitting there trying to look for his options. He wasn't just trying to force everything. Right. So, uh, oh, it looks like I'm going to be hopping off soon. So I have to fight 8 Man next. So that should be interesting. But uh, if you guys are enjoying the stream, go ahead and retweet it. Yes, retweet Re the stream, please. Yes. Twitch.tv slash doghouseesports. Yep. Again, they post all of odds on YouTube. So go on your YouTube, Doghouse Esports. Follow their Twitter. Again, Doghouse Esports. Uh, all their socials are Doghouse Esports. So go ahead and follow them on Instagram, you know, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. Um, yeah. This is, again, a charity event. So a lot of the proceeds will go towards the... I'm trying to think of the name, sorry. <laughs> the Shepherd Help and Rescue Effort. So if you guys do want to support, come out to this tournament. It helps a lot. You can support their cause by donating yeah. beneath the stream or subscribing to the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Shepherd Help and Rescue Effort, or SHARE as I like to call it, is a nonprofit Florida corporation whose mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and find loving homes for German Shepherd dogs in Broward, Miami-Dade, and Palm Beach County. Yeah. These people work tirelessly to save these real dogs from high kill shelters throughout the South Florida region. And that's good. Yeah, even even uh, my parents, they were trying to take this dog. They were trying to take a dog to a shelter where they could it could be taken care of. But they said that they didn't really have room for it. So right. they, we actually ended up taking the dog in instead. Mm -hmm. But uh, it, it's just sad to see when you, when you have dogs that are just, you know, they have so much love to give. Right. And they're just... And they're just so helpless. Yeah, I'm so, so helpless yeah, to guys, the situation. If you guys want to support, please do. I'm going to be hopping off here. I have to fight Ape It Man next. But I'll catch you guys later.
Hey guys, welcome back. We are back with Smashing Barrels 5th Class. I am here joined by... JJJ, what's going on everybody? And I'm Natural, and we're about to hop into a hot set. So we have <coughs> Pickpocket versus 8-Bit Man. South Florida legends in their own right. right. PR. So we have former PR Pickpocket, and we have current number two 